Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. How are you guys enjoying spring? I am definitely loving it. Uh, we can definitely see the major weather change. Um, for those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. We have tons of new tarot videos coming up, as well as the Tarot Lessons 101 and spell work. Tons of spell work. Um, all right, let's get into it, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages that we have here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2022? What is unfolding for them? Allow us to guide them on their journey towards answers, removing any doubts or any fears. Here we go. Capricorn. Capricorn. Sun, moon. Whoa. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. So we were doing the pulling out cards, but as you guys can see, we have cards flying out. So give me one second as I... Interesting. Okay, the struggle of having nails. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're starting off here with the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So there is contemplation in regards to giving up your singlehood for some of you Capricorns out there. Uh, for others of you, this could be a project or thinking of taking on a new project, a new business, a new idea, a new endeavor. Um, but I see you guys really thinking about it, really putting like the weighing out the, the pros and cons um, in, in regards to this situation. There's definitely some type of offering that is being given to you, Capricorn, in this month of April. Now, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I feel like there is a reboot of your romance and love, um, love life. Uh, for those of you guys that have non-existent love life, there's definitely a reboot that's going on here. There is some type of transformation. The, the wheel is turning in your favor when we're talking about uh, love. However, I do feel like you are at a point in time where you're very assertive in regards to what you expect in relationships or partnerships. Now, partnerships not necessarily has to be with love. This could be career. This could be uh, partnerships in regards to business. But there is definitely contemplation here in regards to what is the best move to make. So for those of you guys that are single, do not be surprised if in the month of April, you start to get a lot of opportunities in love. Uh, people are declaring their love for you. People are, um, you know, randomly going up to you, trying to get your number, trying to holler at you, trying to get the 411 on you. Um, but I see you really in contemplation. I want you guys to stay in that energy. Why? Because I feel like there is this tendency that when we are wanting uh, or trying to call forth or trying to manifest something, we have a tendency of being somewhat direct in what we want. But when opportunities approach, when we have more than one opportunity, more than one choice to make, oftentimes uh, people find themselves disregarding what they were wanting initially because they feel like they found something better. That better could be temporary. And I feel like for a lot of you Capricorns, you're not looking for temporary no more. So be mindful of that. Take advantage of the opportunities, yes, uh, but do not do not distract yourself with, um, with someone in particular that may be a bit of a temptation. Um, whereas they may not want anything serious. And if you at this point are looking for something serious, no matter how good you guys may seem to get along, don't try to sit there and baby them to change their mind. Uh, just like you know exactly what it is that they, that you want, they know exactly what it is that they want. So there is a need to take a practical approach when we're talking about relationships, okay? 
All right, let's see. Your next card here is the moon card. So yeah, it's exactly um, the message that was coming through. It's almost like being focused and being determined. But the moment that you get emotionally involved or emotionally invested in someone, you kind of lose focus and you have a tendency of running with the expectations of what you have um, for that connection or for that relationship. So what they're telling you here is this could be a recurring cycle for you. And at this point, it is about fully embracing being single. As an example, if you guys are single, but you're casually seeing someone, um, don't go wholeheartedly into the situation, meaning shutting down any other opportunity because you guys are really getting along. If the person that wants you and that sees value in you is going to want to make it official. Why? Because they don't want competition. But up until the point that they do that or they decide to take it to the next level, you continue to be single. Do you see what I'm saying? Because I see you guys, yes, I'm proud and I am strong and I am, you know, amazing and I am single. I know what I want. But then the arrows of love strike, right? And you kind of lose focus. You kind of make the relationship itself um, or the connection itself uh, a priority. And you lose focus on what it is that you want. And oftentimes you guys have a tendency of either staying too long in a connection or relationship that you know it's not going anywhere, or you have a tendency of bringing your expectations down because that person is here. Why not give it a try? And what they're telling you here is, no, Capricorn, stay in your power. Stay in what it is exactly that you want and uh, embrace the being single or embrace the dating. And up until anyone decides, I want Capricorn, I want to make it official because I don't want to jeopardize them going out or dating someone else. Up until you get to that point, do not give yourself completely to the partner or person that you're dealing with, Capricorn. Um, why? Because there is a tendency, like I said, there is a recurring cycle here that happens where you're often being put uh, or put in a position where you feel like you're in, in the dark. You don't know exactly where you stand and it just gets messy and it gets confusing. What they're telling you is at this point, it's time to outgrow that cycle. Your next card here is the Four of Wands and it is exactly... Um, the message that they are relating to you. If you stay focused and you do not um, you do not make excuses, as an example, if you're seeing someone or relating to someone or getting to know someone and they don't meet um, the qualifications, let's say, that you are expecting in a partner, um, out of 10 things that you want in a partner, they have nine, right? But the one very important one is you're wanting long-term. They don't. They don't want marriage or they don't want commitment and they tell you up front. Well, that one, or I should say those nine things that qualifies them immediately puts them out of your spectrum because if they're not wanting anything to build on, what can you possibly build or hope from that relationship? Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here is in the month of April, a lot of opportunities are going to be coming to you, Capricorn. Fully take advantage of that and do not put yourself or put yourself on reserve for someone that you don't really know where you stand with. Why? Because if you keep making up excuses for people and hoping, right, instead of like really seeing action, um, you're going to continue to keep going in the cycle. And at this point, what they're wanting for you at this point, what you need to be doing is looking for stability, looking for that grounding. You're an earth sign Capricorn. You need to be grounded. You need things that are built on solid foundations. Remember, your planet is Saturn, so it's not going to come easy, but it's not impossible. So stop settling Capricorn. All right, my lovelies, I hope that you guys enjoyed this readings. Like, share, and comment, and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye.